Well, so I have a problem where I'm scared to initiate Kino because mm-hmm. I don't want to put the girl off, and mm-hmm. I don't. It, it's especially in the beginning of the date. You know, you're there might be some awkwardness, like mm-hmm. you know, and then kind of ruin it, and then, then you have to get out of it, and I can go on. So, what what would be some good kind of maybe frames of mind or some techniques? Good question. You could suggest. Okay, so let me. I'm gonna restate the question in case it didn't get picked up for the people watching. Uh, you feel, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong on this. <clears throat> you uh, feel to initiate Kino is you feel a little awkward at times, especially in the beginning when you meet the girl. Yes. Correct. Okay, good. So, what are some techniques or frames of mind? Okay, cool. So, let's go over a few things I know about Kino and why it makes it so simple for me. I know that when people are comfortable around each other, especially men and women, they casually touch each other as if it's no big deal. I also know that if you've had a great conversation with someone for a long time but you never physically contacted them, but they accidentally then touch you because they sit next to you, for example, if you ever had a teacher in school that you really admired, had great conversation with, and suddenly the teacher sat next to you and touched you, it would be really awkward. So I do understand that no Kino, Kino means kinesthetic touch, no Kino equals a very awkward relationship in the future. And I'm not interested in creating awkward relationships, I'm interested in creating comfortable relationships. So my understanding is that with Kino, I make girls comfortable being around me. I don't think of it as Kino might make them uncomfortable. I think of it as they start off uncomfortable. Through me systematically doing Kino, I make them more and more comfortable. So for me, Kino is an action used to make her comfortable. Whereas somebody else might think the Kino might make her uncomfortable. Well, no, she starts uncomfortable. She doesn't know you. She doesn't know your touch and the way you do it. So now let's go over a technique of it. We were actually just talking this morning. I might do a like two, three hour workshop on how to kino the girl. You know, and I'll have, uh, you know, somebody here to, to help demonstrate so you see it. It's one thing to do it in the air, it's another thing to have somebody here. So if you are interested in that, just talk to Beast because every weekend we're probably going to do these workshops and they'll come up as needed, okay? So anyways, but one of the things mindset-wise on kino is that if it's, if it's a big deal to you when you do it, then it's going to become uncomfortable. But if it's very casual to you, then you can get away with it. The difference being you may casually, uh, accidentally, touch someone's shoulder, boob, or, or shoulder, boob, and thigh, and you go, oh. Or you may just disregard it because you're on the bus or something. But if you started to really look at that body part, and then slowly approach that body part. <laughs> now, it's awkward. Why? Because number two... It's so important, but the first one wasn't. So good Kino consists of casually, as you're talking, touching, and it's it's second or third to the story being told. So if I'm saying, I'm talking to her and I go, yeah, and then, um, so here's what happened. We were standing up, I'm not gonna stand up for the camera. We're standing up and I turn her shoulder and I say, so we were like this, side to side, shoulder to shoulder. See, I'm telling a story, but now I've touched her shoulder and I put shoulder to shoulder. And I'm telling a story, it's secondary. Now, she will, most likely, the first time I touch her, feel a sense of, oh, he's touching me. But if I keep rolling on with the conversation, and then if there's other people there too, I do it with the guys. <laughs> so there's two guys, three or four girls. And you're only kinoing the girls. That's going to become obvious. Kino the guys. Tell the story. Go up to the guy and say, he was like this. she was like this, use the guy. And say, and she was facing me, and then, and now go to her. So you're using them as demonstration pieces. But the point being that if it's no big deal to you, then it's no big deal. Worst case, it's no big deal to you, it becomes a big deal to her, and then you, whoa. She goes, well, you know, uh, don't touch me. Oh, hey. That's just, I, I'm, that's how I grew up. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, that's what I do. I, I'm very expressive. I understand, no problem. But then, but then check this out. It's no big deal, and you move on again. It's fine. Okay? So the intention behind it, if it's really important, it's weird. This is how you get to hug people, kiss people, or whatever, too. Kiss on the cheek.